excited, uh, obviously, Rick, that uh, y'all provide a platform. We will be having our event. It just won't be in person. It'll be online. It'll be here. It's part of the NFL Draft Bible Network, and uh, we're really excited about that. We're appreciative of uh, you providing us that platform. It's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, we'll ha hand out our regular awards. We'll uh, do the Best Draft Award, obviously. It'll be, uh, this will be our, our fourth year offering it. Our first year in 2017, the Saints won it with that crazy draft they had that netted them so many uh, big time players that followed up with the Colts winning it the following year, 2018. And then 2019 was the 49ers. And, um, you know, all of these teams not only had great drafts, but they kind of propelled them to big seasons the following year. And uh, we just opened up our, as you know, Rick, as you know, John, uh, only active NFL scouts are allowed to vote on this, on the award. And so we're pretty excited about the, you know, how the award has progressed and how it's been accepted and, and really kind of embraced by. The community. Uh, we have, we launched our balloting last week for the draft uh, for the I'm sorry for the 2020 draft award. Our five candidates are the Colts, who got Jonathan Taylor, uh, Isaiah Rogers, Jordan Glasgow, Rodrigo Blankenship, the Buccaneers, who took Tristan Wirfs, Antoine Winfield, and Tyler Johnson, uh, the Washington, who got Chase Young, Antonio Gibson, Cam Curl, the Browns, who got Jedrick Wills, uh, Jacob Phillips, Harrison Bryant, and Donovan Peoples Jones. And the Jags, who got C.J. Henderson, LaVisca, uh, LaVisca Chenault, and James Robinson. Who can forget him? You've already kind of discussed him as an undrafted free agent out of that process. So we've got five great contenders. The balloting's rolling. We, we're starting to see a couple leaders separate from the pack. Mm -hmm.